Back then when we did our P14 versus F14 video, we found out that for the 140mm fall factor, Arctic's F series was actually the better fan. And then with the Bionic series, we found out that Bionics is just a different way of saying steroids and a gym membership. Now, meet the Bionics F140, the one that promises to beat them all. So this is the F140 from Arctic's Bionics series. As always with those Bionics fans, there is a variety of colors in which the fan can be purchased. The choice of color determines the color of the rubber used around the fan and around the screw holes. Although the colored rubber creates an interesting design, it isn't there for the looks. Even if Arctic claims that there is no need for any rubber due to the motor being able to absorb up to 95% of its own vibrations, it surely can't hurt to have something to take out those leftover 5%. As little bonus, you can use the bounciness of the fan created by the rubber ring around it to make it stop. For connectivity, Arctic doubles down on their PVM PSD system. Additionally to the 4-pin PVM plug at the end of the 400mm long wire, there is a little female header allowing you to forward the connection to another fan so that everything can be running off a single header. Inside of the usual Bionics box, we will find 4 fan screws as well as a little thank you note. The fan being airflow optimized does look quite differently compared to its static pressure P140 counterpart. This time we have 9 shorter and a bit less bent wings meant to only push the largest amount of air possible. Very similar as any other Arctic's F-Series fan, Bionics or not. Using this airflow prioritizing wings does create quite the stats. While spinning at up to 1800rpm, these Bionics F140s are able to push around 104 CFM at 2.35mm of H2O. This means that those F140s are the absolute airflow kings amongst Arctic's complete lineup. And if you compare them to the regular F14s, these Bionics models are absolutely blowing them away in every possible sense. But raw stats does not necessarily mean that the painted picture ended up pretty. So let's see what it looks like. While letting the Bionics F140 spin at 100% of their 1800 RPM, they managed to keep the 3700X at 45 degrees C, just a single degree behind the notorious Fantex T30s in their performance mode and beating absolutely every Arctic fan until now except for the P14 ARGB. That, that thing is just insanely good. But still, second rank and the upper quarter is a very good result. For the noise to performance graph, it's quite interesting. Starting off quite good and slightly behind the T30, it quickly became quieter at lower speeds where the F140 slang equalized with the original F14's line for a short time. From there the F14 and Bionics F140 are going back and forth with the F140 being slightly better in the higher speed while the F14 is better in the lower speeds. Ignoring those little differences, this does prove one thing. There is no noise to performance benefit that can be won when going for a Bionics F140 instead of a simple F14. The only benefit that exists is that a F140 can push it further, basically creating a bigger headroom in case you need it. And that's a good thing, just having a bit more headroom without any real cost in the lower speeds is perfect. It's basically an incremental upgrade without any negative side effect. Looking at the whole range of Arctic fans, the Bionics F140s placed itself exactly as expected. It blew out every other non-RGB Arctic fan in existence in both max performance and noise to performance. Or it, it matched the F14 noise to performance at some point. The only competitor that the Bionics F140 actually has is the RGB Unicorn induced fairy type P14 ARGB fan. So where does this leave us? The quality is very good, the motor does not make any particularly noticeable noise, the performance is very very good, the noise to performance is perfectly fine and the color options are a very positive thing in my opinion. Well, if you are looking for the best budget 140mm case fan, it, it won't get much better than this. 
try to match that level of performance for a price below 10 bucks. So to buy or not to buy? Absolute recommendation, no doubt there. For 10 bucks, you will not do anything wrong when going with these. But okay, this should be it for Arctic's Bionics F140s. At this point, I would like to thank Arctic for sending over these really impressive fans. But if you want to keep watching, have a look at our take on the P140s. Those are the pressure optimized counterparts to the F140s. And on a side note, we now have a Discord server, so use the link in the description and join us. Anyway, thank you for watching and I hope to see you in the next one. Bye bye.